Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be making a free, free prong granny ripple blanket. Well, wow. so it ends up being a giant square uh, by the time we're finished. So for this I'm going to be using uh, quite a few uh, different colours. So I'm just going, going with contrasting colours today. Uh, because I think this uh, pattern works really well if you have colours that don't always necessarily match. Or what colours what you wouldn't uh, even normally put together. So these two kind of go together because uh, it's towards the red side of the spectrum. And these uh, towards the... Blue, well, blue, blue and greens, and I'm also going to be using a bit of black today. So I don't have two of each one. Uh, I have doubled up on the green and doubled up on the orange. So this is this is what I'm using today. Uh, I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook, uh, which is for a double knit yarn. But you can use any yarn you like. Um, you know, it's, it's entirely your choice. A darning needle and a pair of snippers. Right, so a little bit about the yarn I'm using today. I won't go through all the colours, uh, unless it's actually written on there. Yes, it is. So it's all style craft special. It's 100, uh, 100 grams. It's DK weight. You can cool tumble dry it. You can wash it on a 40 degree wash. It's 100% acrylic and the yardage is approximately 295 metres or 322 yards. So this orange one is uh, called Spice. The goldy one is called Gold, funnily enough. There we are. Then I can't remember what the blue one's called because I don't have a, uh, a label for it. And then the green one is Shade Bottle. So with all that uh, being said and out of the way, we're just going to jump right in. So follow me on for the next part of this video. Right, so basically... Um, I just want to talk you through what we're doing uh, here first. So this is uh, the, going to be the centre of our blanket and everything radiates out from this centre. So it looks quite complicated to make but it's actually really, really simple. So just so you get a bit more of an idea on what shape we're actually going for. So this is our centre right here. And then it's got these three prongs that radiate from three of the corners leaving one corner three. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my orange. You can start with any colour you like, it's entirely up to you. And we're going to start with a simple granny square. So for our granny square in DK, I normally do a chain 4 loop, because I think uh, a fifth chain is just a little bit big. So we're just going to chain 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Oops, and 4 even. And we're going to slip stitch back into this first chain and then slip through there, and then chain three. So one, two, and three. So that uh, chain three counts as double crochet in this pattern, uh, and throughout the pattern even. And then what we're gonna do is put another two double crochet back into the center of this ring. And this classes as one shell. And then what we're going to do, chain two, yarn over and go back and make another shell, which is three double crochet. So one, two, and three. I am using American terms uh, for all my videos, uh, so if you have English terms, it's easy, uh, easy to translate. Chain two, because we're making corners at the moment. So we need another two shells. So one, two, and three. And one more. So chain two, because that makes a corner. And then go back into the middle and make another shell. So that's three double crochets. Two, and three. What I'm going to do is I need to make my final corner right here and chain two and then I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of this uh, chain stitch which is our beginning so I'm just going to slip stitch there and to get on to round two I'll just go straight through to round two I'm going to slip stitch across into this corner right here where my thumb and finger are so I'm just going to put on put in a slip stitch there and slip stitch into that gap and you, you can't even see these slip stitches by the time you uh, start working on the rest of your blanket. They kind of just disappear, so even better. Right, so what I'm going to do, chain three, because I want to do a 
beginning shell now. So a beginning shell is always three, double, uh, three chains and two double crochets. So another two double crochets all into that corner. And then chain two to make the corner. And then into the same space, another three double crochets to make up that last shell. Right, so that's our corner. So since we are now technically on a straight edge, we're going to chain one and move into our next corner. So if you've met granny squares before, uh, this is um, you know, nothing new for you. You can just uh, speed on ahead. If you haven't made granny squares before, well, here's how you make them. So continue following on. So another two chains and another shell into this corner space. So that's one, two, and this is my third double crochet. Chain one, because that's technically our straight edge. And then into the next corner, you guessed it, another shell, two chains, and a shell. Oops, didn't quite catch that last double crochet there, but here we are. Chain two, and then another shell in this corner. Two and three. Back to a straight edge, straight edge again, so chain one. And then into our final corner with, you guessed it, shell, chain two and shell. So that's three doubles, chain two and three doubles, all into this corner space. One, two, and three. And since uh, we need our chain one, because we're back on the straight edge, chain one, and slip stitch into the top of this uh, bit of chain right here, beginning chain. And we're just going to slip stitch over into that corner again, just like that. So this is round three. I'm just going to work straight through on this. Uh, because it is quite a, quite a simple little square. So one, two and three. Make your corner, which is, uh, well your beginning shell first, is uh, chain three, two double crochets. Chain two, and then three double crochets to finish this corner. So that's two and three. Dinky little square now, so chain one. So into this uh, middle uh, space, this is a straight edge. So we just put in one shell. So two, three, chain one, and then we're back in our corner, which is three double crochets, chain two, three double crochet. So I will actually finish the rest of this off camera. Uh, because you do all the corners the same throughout the, throughout this pattern. So I'll just finish this corner. There's two and three. And then I'm back onto a straight edge. So on our straight edge, you always chain one. In the corners, you always chain, chain two. So join me back onto the next part of this video, and I will see you in a moment. Right, so I'm just uh, at the end of my round now, so like always, I'm just going to slip stitch into this uh, chain three right there, and slip stitch one more time. And then pull that a little tight, and just pull a little bit of yarn through, because we're going to change colour. So snip. So I am going to actually weave in all my ends as I go, so uh, just bear with me a second. Right, so as if by magic, my ends have just magically jumped in and weaved themselves, because I am that good. I wish. Right, so what we're going to do now is go on to our next colour. So I'm just going to actually use this uh, goldy coloured mustard. Or am I? Oh, I don't know. No, I am going to use this blue. Because I want my colours to really just uh, clash against each other. I think uh, when you have uh, such uh, good contrasting colours, 
Um, yeah, it, it can be really nice uh, for them just to uh, really not work uh, together and uh, just uh, have a crazy blanket. So I'm just going to choose any corner. Uh, this is the, well, that's the corner I've just left off at. So I'm just going to pick the opposite one for this and I'm just going to go straight into that corner with a chain three. So one, two, three. And then we're just going to carry on. And what we're going to do is just two rounds of your next colour. So that's a beginning shell of the chain three and two double crochets. Chain two and then another shell, three double crochets. So one, two and three. Oops, that tail's getting in my way, let's just move that. Chain one, and with that comes straight, straight edge. So, this part of the pattern is dead simple. Uh, we're just going to do two rounds of this colour only. So, I will do that off camera. So, I will see you in two minutes. Right guys, so now you have your little granny square, so you have three rounds of the orange or whatever your first colour is, and only two rounds of your second colour. So what we need to do now is we, I'm just going to take you back to my little sample piece here, is, so that's, uh, that's our middle. So we want to make uh, three squares in the same colour as our last two rounds. And then what we're going to do is uh, come back and we'll attach them onto three corners. So bear with me for a minute. Uh, if you follow the first part of this video for the first three rounds, that'll give you the right size for your, the next part. So you can just rewind it uh, to save me filming uh, three more squares. So I'll be back in a moment with my three little squares. Right, ta-da! Right, I now have my three squares, and all you want to do now is, with your yarn tails from your three squares, is right in the very corner, straight for, uh, of your big square, put a couple of stitches what go right through, and just uh, just to securely attach it. Uh, so what I did is I went through a couple of times uh, through both both of these uh, corner loops, and then I went through the actual uh, stitches themselves and then yeah, a couple of whip stitches then down into uh, this colour right here. Right so now you've attached your three squares hopefully and successfully make sure that they are the correct way around uh, because we don't have to turn this blanket um, backwards and forwards uh, very much at the moment. I, I'm just going to pick a corner I'm going to pick uh, this corner on my little square with my next colour of yarn so we're going to do two rounds of this colour. So I'm just going to attach uh, just like always, one, two, three, and then I'm just going to go in and finish that shell. This is where this uh, pattern starts getting a little bit more fun. And you, uh, yeah, even I don't like making little squares, but the overall effect of this blanket is absolutely uh, crazy. It's really eye-catching, it kind of uh, plays with your eyes a little bit, and I, th I think it's just a cool fun pro project. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work around this uh, little square like normal. Just like you would do any other round on any other, any other granny square what you might have worked on previous. So nothing new there. So I'm just going to uh, get this done quite quickly because I don't want it, you know, I try not to make my videos uh, too long because uh, YouTube doesn't like really like uploading anything uh, what's over an hour long so if it runs over then I'll, uh, I'll do a part two. Right, so back to my corner, so shell, chain two and a shell. Chain one because I'm back on a uh, on a straight edge. Chain one again because I'm still on a straight edge. 
and then after this shell what I'll do is I'll just lay it flat and just show you what I'm going to be doing next because it is quite difficult to see because there's lots of pieces flying around here. Right, so what what uh, what you want to do on any inside corner, so these are our inside corners because they're on the inside of our project whereas these are on the outside, so these are, are outside corners. So all inside corners and outside corners have worked the same throughout this pattern. So without chaining one, so we don't we don't do uh, any chains on this. I'm just going to get this to a better angle for me to work. I'm I'm going to jump straight from here to my first hole on this main square. So I want to keep my tension quite tight on this first stitch because if your stitches separate, uh, you can't really go back and fix them. And it's just to make this joining kind of hole here a little bit neater. So I'm just going to go through and do my regular shell and then I'll just lay it flat to show you. So essentially we're just, going, we're just going to work around. So now I can chain one and work this straight edge. Chain one and another shell. Yeah, once you get the hang of uh, how this pattern's working and how to do your colour placements, as in when you change colour to add your extra squares on, and it, it is really quite beginner friendly. Right, so I'm back to another inside corner, so I'm not going to do any chains again. I'll just turn it a little bit, just so uh, I can work in there properly. And then I'm just going to jump onto the first uh, open uh, open chain one space on this little uh, square here. So doing the same again, pulling it a little bit tighter than usual, just to try and get the, this first stitch as close to the other one as you can. If it's not quite close enough or if it's a bit loose, to pull it out and do it again. Uh, you know, I read uh, this week that stitches aren't precious, but our finished articles are. So I'm just going to work the entire round in the same fashion. So our outside corners are always uh, the same, as in uh, we do a shell, a chain two and a shell. And our inside corners, we don't do any chains, we just hop straight, straight across. So that being said, I am going to do finish this round and then I'm going to go on to the second round. So bear with me, I will be back shortly. Right, so I'm just at the uh, end of the first row of uh, green colour and I'm just going to give it a little chain one and uh, slip stitch. So there's my chain one, there's the slip stitch and I'm going to slip stitch back into this corner. So like, you know, so like I said, it, you're always wanting to work from the corner. And then I'm just going to do another round of this uh, same colour. So I'll do to about here on camera. Just so, just so you can see how we do the uh, inside corners again. So there's me chain three and two more double crochets. Chain two and then a, another shell in that corner to make my corner uh, of this round. Chain one. And then another shell in the next space. Yes, nothing different again. Yes, this uh, this pattern, you know, it is quite simple. So it's basically, you know, just a different way of working round a square. So this is uh, just out of my corner. Need more yarn because, uh, as you uh, can see, I do go through it fairly fast. Chain one, 
Right, just working down to this inside corner again. So I think I'm one space, but this is the uh, space directly before. So don't forget, we're not going to chain anything. So you can you can see where I am there. Not going to chain. I'm just going to hop straight onto my next space on the uh, big square in the middle. That's one, two, and three. I always like to just check to make sure that stitch is there just right, and that one is, so I can carry on. With each round, these uh, gaps in between your little squares do get smaller, and eventually the, uh, we will be closing these right up uh, as we go along, uh, but that's uh, we don't need to uh, worry about that. We just have to get you there first. Right, so I'm back to uh, my next corner. So again, I'm not going to do any chains or anything. I'm just going to, yep, a little bit of a tight tension. Draw, you can draw, even draw these two corners together if you can get a better stitch that way. It's entirely up to you. And just keep, keep going. Basically, basically every round's just about the same on this. So keep going until you get to the end of a round and also you need to make three more squares in this colour what we're using at the moment. So I will uh, make my three little squares off camera uh, and uh, finish this round and then I will be back. Right, so I have my three uh, little uh, squares now of the same colour as my last round. So what we're going to do is we're going to sew these onto the corners like we did with the other ones. So one on each corner of um, your prongs. So I'll just sew one on uh, now, if I can find my sewing needle, there it is. Just so I can just uh, go over again on how I actually sew these together. So making sure that um, uh, the right side of my square is facing uh, the correct way. I'm just going to go straight through uh, this uh, chain 2 space once. It's always easier to do this on a flat surface. Oops. Bear with me a second. So I just need to make sure my uh, yarn's actually in this uh, chain 2 space. Just like that. And then uh, I'm going to go into that chain 2 space there. Just right through it. Bring it, bring it close together. Don't put it too tight because we're going to go through it a couple of times and each time you can do it a little bit tighter. Go through again. And then I'm just going to pick it up and I'm just going to go in between. Just like that. And then just going to go through a couple of stitches to my first cluster and then down this middle stitch My yarn tail's not very long on here, so it keeps coming out. And I'm just going to weave in once or twice on this uh, cluster here and bring it out the back and give it a bit of a snipper. There we go. And that's our first square sewn onto that corner. So sew so, so your other three squares on and grab your next colour and join me back for the next round. Right, so I've got all my uh, little squares sewn on onto my corners and the other ones down that way. So what I'm going to do is, rather than starting up here, it doesn't matter, really matter where you start, but for uh, showing you what we're doing around here again, uh, I'm just going to join here onto this corner. As long as you join in a corner, you can't go wrong. Because all the outside corners are the same and all the inside corners are the same. So this is a nice contrast with uh, my dark green there. And it's far far enough away from this orange as well for it to be a, a nice colour on its own. So again, I'm just uh, doing the corner. So that's a shell, chain two and a shell. I'm 
just going to have to turn my work a little bit to make it easier for me to work on. Get this tail out of the way. Again, I have been uh, sewing all my uh, tails in as I go because uh, this is a project where you do end up with quite a few. So by the time you finish your project and you go, oh, now I've got all the sewing to do and it becomes a real chore. So try and, try and keep on top of your uh, weaving in your ends as you go along because you will thank me for it later. Right, so again, we're on an inside corner, so we're just going to hop straight down, keeping those bridge stitches nice and taut. And this is a flat edge, so just do your normal chain one, and back through into your next chain one space. And no chaining because now we're on an inside corner again and just back up. Right, so I'm not going to do the complete round or even anymore because it's all the same. So just carry on working until in the same manner that we have been doing until you get back to the beginning where I'll join you for the next round of this colour. Right, so I'm just coming up on the end of the, the uh, round of colour, what we've been working on. So I just have a couple more, maybe two more clusters to do. So I hope this uh, tutorial has uh, been easy to follow so far. I wanted to do this uh, style blanket for a while, but yes, I've had other things to do. So uh, today I thought, I know, I'm going to... Uh, get cracking and make another video. Right, so I'm just uh, slip stitching to the end of, uh, well, to the beginning of that round. And I'm just gonna slip stitch again into this corner. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my corner like normal. So chain three, two double crochet. Chain two, and then another cluster with three dual crochets. If you don't know about that by now, I don't know what you've been doing. <laughs> you're seeing clusters in your sleep. And then I'm just going to work down this uh, little straight edge. I've got uh, two spaces there to do. That's one, and then this is one just before my corner. Right, now what I'm going to do is, you're just going to work, work this, uh, the same, so we're just going to hop down in, into this middle. There's, now there's only one space left here, and I'll explain what you do with this also. You do need to do these ones fairly tight, and then we're just going to hop straight on up to this side. One, two, and three. Now I'm just going to go up and just round that corner a little bit. I'm just uh, crocheting a little bit uh, faster because we're not doing out different at the moment. The only, th uh, the only thing about this uh, style blanket so far is uh, it's a bit it flaps around a little bit, <laughs> but hey, it's all right. Right, so I'm just going to finish this corner, then add one more cluster. One two and three right what you want to do is you want to carry on working like this so uh, when you get uh, to this other point down here you work it the same as here 
and when you finish your round, before you go any further, what we're going to do is, I'm, I'm, I'll just do it now, uh, because I'll just tie this back on, because it's just a food tutorial with this blanket, it's fine. And I'm going to take some of the same colour yarn, and if I can find my needle, it's somewhere, there we are. So the same colour yarn, I'm just going to thread my uh, needle up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find, find the corner, this corner and this corner. And I'm just going to put this through a little bit. And here. I'm just going to go through this a couple of times. Don't have to be, uh, you don't want it too tight straight away. And I would normally flip my blanket over to do this, but it's just easier if I show you uh, this way because it keeps it all uh, nice and square. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these uh, stitches up down here, uh, these shells up, and I'm just going to whip stitch down uh, to connect one side to the next. So every time, every time when you've got enough rounds, eventually this will do the same as this. It just takes more rounds for this to go into the middle. So every time you reach a round where you've only had to do one uh, in the middle here, that's the round where you are going to be doing a little bit of uh, sewing these uh, sides, sides together. You know, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but if you can try and get get the uh, shells aligned, it just looks so much uh, so much nicer uh, on the end result. And uh, I always uh, tend not to do this last couple of stitches too tight because I don't want this shell to uh, cinch itself in. So I'm just going to go up through the middle of here and that side back over and back into the bottom of that shell there, top of that shell there. Now I'm just going to pull on it a little bit and as you can see you can barely see me stitching there and then I'm just going to take this uh, through to the back and weave it in. And I'm just going to weave it through the back a couple of times and then I'm just going to snip my yarn. So one, two and then I just like to go under there and then back again. There we are. Right, so that's that done. So don't don't worry if uh, if these are a bit uh, skew with feet at the moment uh, because we won't be on the next round. Right, so what you can do is you're going to finish this round and uh, then sew up your gaps. Make sure you slip stitch to uh, make sure you get that uh, right. Uh, place uh, there to go back into and you also want to make three uh, starting squares in the same colour what you're working with at the moment and sew them onto your corners again and then I will see you back after that. Right guys on to the next part of the video it's gonna be a long one so I have actually got uh, my uh, yellow squares or my gold squares onto my gold round so I'm just going to connect my next colour, which happens to be my first colour, which is uh, the orange one, because that's what I have right in the middle. So rather than going orange, blue, green, gold, back to green, blue, and then orange, I'm just going in a straightforward cycle of colours. So basic, basically, whatever colour I started on, I'll go back to uh, without uh, transitioning back through my colours for this uh, pattern. And I, I'm just going to connect onto this uh, corner so I've got my big space there so I'm just going to connect onto there and work across and show you how I'm going to deal with uh, this uh, area so it's just going to take me uh, just going to take me a little uh, few minutes to get there you don't know what happened now bear with me This orange yarn is a slight bit, even though it's still uh, the same brand, it's just a slight bit thinner, which I'm uh, 
not too happy about because it just uh, feels a bit different. It should it should be fine. So after uh, I've done two rounds of this orange, I will be putting orange squares on my uh, three uh, prong corners. So I'm just uh, jumping over uh, that corner here. One, two and three in that gap. Right, so I'm just a, just a few before. This is actually getting quite annoying to uh, be uh, working in such a small area with now, but I will persevere for you. Right, so I'm just coming up to where we did that sewing, if you remember. Right, so what I always say to do on this is uh, sometimes you've got to pipe by eye and just kind of get it in a place where it's going gonna to look right. So I have two little holes here and one there. Now, if I went into this one with a shell and, and this one with a shell, it would be too many in that one area. So, I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go through that first one. I'm going to do a back post round that middle bit there. So, a back post double crochet. And then I'm going to do a one double crochet in that space there. So when it comes to your next round, these, these are quite nicely uh, spaced apart. Uh, if you if you keep your stitches nice and uh, tight in between your shells, you shouldn't really have any problems. We'll just do the shell and another one, so then it gives you a better uh, indication on what you should be aiming for on this little section. You see, even, even though it's not perfect, by the time you get a couple of rows in, you, you're not even going to see this anyway, so that's fine. Right, so what you need to do now is continue working uh, like we have been doing, uh, working all the way around, and we're going to do two rows of orange, and then we are going to sew on our little orange squares and then we are going to do um, two rows of blue. Yes, right, so I will see you in a few moments. Right, so on to the next part of the video. Um, so I've just uh, finished doing my two rounds of blue here and as you can see it's getting a bit big to be uh, showing it all on camera so if I move it around so these are where my points are going outwards, so I'll just move down one of those. Right, so, as you can see, I'm not going to continue putting these squares in now, because um, otherwise the bank is just going to be too big for the tutorial, it's going to take me too long to film, uh, but if you want to continue adding squares, you can do so. Uh, so what I'm, what I'm actually going to do now, uh, if you're following along with me to make one of the size what I'm making in this video, brilliant. So, I'm going to continue cycling through my colours until I get back to orange. So, if you can see, I've got orange, blue, green, gold, then I go back to orange. So, uh, I need to do green, gold, and then orange. So, I'm going to do another another six rounds and then I will be back. So, that's uh, two rounds of each colour. Not adding any more squares, just uh, just round like normal. And then I will be back to uh, show you where we're at. So I will see you soon. Right guys, so I uh, 
excuse me, I've just uh, finished doing my uh, additional six rounds, uh, which has uh, taken me to what you can see here. So, um, so with these middle parts, if I go that way, if that's one corner, I go that, that way, it's another corner, and down there is another corner also. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit tricky to explain uh, where I'm, where I'm actually going to start from. So, if we move up to the top edge of our blanket, where the pattern kind of tessellates out like this, and to the left, um, to the very end square, this is going to be the corner of our blanket. Same with this side also. This is another corner of our blanket. And then the other side and the other side, this is the bottom corner of our blanket. So what I'm gonna do is say this is the corner. We're gonna work on filling this area in now. So I'm gonna be I'll say horrible to all and use some black yarn now because I do want to put a little bit of black in here. But you should be able to see what I'm doing uh, and where I'm doing it from. Uh, now I'm going to turn this uh, just uh, because it's easier for me to work. And into this space. So this is the corner. Uh, this is the top edge. So in this space we're going to tie on our yarn. You, know, you don't have to use black, you can use whatever colour you like. So what we're going to do is we are going to chain three and make a shell in this space. Because we don't want to, uh, I don't want to grow this uh, blanket out any bigger. So what, I'm, uh, what we're doing now is working on uh, making all our edges into straight lines. So that's our first shell in there. Bit difficult to see, I, I do really apologise. And then I'm just going to chain one, and I'm going to work this row like normal. So I'm not going to do anything different. So I'm going to work this until I'm up to the other side, where you should be able to see uh, whereabouts we're working a, bit, a little bit better. So I will be back in a few moments. Right, so this is, uh, this is where I've just started uh, with this row. And as you can see, I've just been working across like, uh, like this. So that's both, both sides. Uh, it might help if you put a stitch marker in one side and a stitch marker in the other side, just so you don't end up going any further. So, I'm just going to continue to just do this last little bit. So, to do this other side, I'm, I'm going to chain one, and then in this uh, chain two corner space here, we're just going to do a shell. So, one two and three because we want to start building across rather than building round so what we're going to do is we are going to chain three one two and three I'm going to flip my blanket over because we want uh, to put two rows on now I've just got to work this a little, little uh, bit out so one two three and let me just have a Yeah, so we're going to do a chain a chain three, and then uh, work back down your row through your clusters. So it's kind of like working back on what you've just uh, been doing. Just like that. And I will be back uh, after I've uh, got to the end of this row. Right, so just coming up to the end of the uh, second row of this uh, black uh, row. And I'm just uh, currently at nearly my last corner. Well, it is the last corner. So I'm just going to do that one. And this one. And the idea behind this is whatever we do on the, op the opposite side, we have to do on this side, just to keep it all 
even and keep it all looking the same. So on the other side we needed to make this chain, chain space for a shell to work into. So on this side we have to do the same. So let's just have a little look shall we. So chain one, two, actually do a chain one and then into the uh, third stitch of the shell I'm just going to go straight through it, it'll be fine. I'm going to do a double crochet. So this uh, ends up with a nice uh, loop. And then I'm going to change my yarn. So I'm just going to pull, pull a bit of yarn through and use my scissors. And, <coughs> excuse me, and swap colours. So now I'm going on to my blue colour because my last proper colour were orange. And from the same side where we've just left off, uh, one thing uh, I will say now, uh, I do highly recommend that you uh, weave all your ends in as you go. Uh, so from the same end what we've just left off, I'm just flipping it back over. And we're going to do the exact same. So what we're going to do is we are going to put our yarn through this uh, loop here. We're going to do a chain three. One, two and three. And then we are just going to do a beginning shell. Kind of trapping those tails under there a little bit. And then we're just going to work across the row like normal. So that's there. Just need to turn around and I'm back to the first corner so I'm just going to skip around here and I will meet you back on the other side. Right I'm just coming up to uh, the end of this row I'm just at my final corner so I just need to do this shell Again, I do apologise uh, for using black yarn. I, I know a lot of people are against it for tutorials, but when needs must, so I say. Right, so but since we want uh, this one to match this one on this side, on this side I, you just go straight into this uh, chain loop that you made with a shell. One, two, and three. Right, so I'm going to turn my blanket over to do a second round of blue. Good thing about this part of the uh, blanket pattern is it does go a little bit quicker with each round because we are decreasing our, the amount of uh, shells and rows. So I'm just getting this in a decent working position for myself. Right, so we're going to uh, we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And we're just going to work back into our first space. Don't worry if this uh, row, uh, these uh, rows end up looking a little bit sketchy um, or a little bit too gappy because since we are putting a border all the way around this blanket afterwards it does balance itself out quite nicely. Right so I'm just straight back to a corner again. So doing my corner And I'm just going to continue doing this row like normal. So as you can see there. Oops, need to do a chain one not. So I'm going to meet you back at the end of this row. So I will see you in a few moments. Right, so once again I'm nearly uh, to the end of, uh, end of my row. I'm just coming up to my corner. So I've not weaved those ends in yet, but I think after this colour change uh, I will be uh, weaving these in because uh, they're starting to bug me now. <laughs> right, so here's my, here's my corner where my thumb is, as you can see. So I'm just going to hop over there into that first available space. And now I've got no more spaces and I'm next to a shell. So again, chain, chain one. Put a chain one or a chain two. Chain one and then straight into the top of that 
I'm just going through uh, going through the actual stitch itself because uh, yeah, we're not going to see it anyway. It's fine. Yeah, chain two, and I'm just going to slip stitch back into that because I'm changing colour. Yes, again. So uh, what you need to do is carry on working like this, and eventually this uh, will close up on itself. But what I'll do is I will do another another two rounds because we need to uh, figure out this a little bit as well. Uh, so I will be back in two seconds. Right. So I've turned my blanket uh, all the way over. So I'm always I'm always going to tie my ends on at the same at the same working edge. Um, I don't know why. It's it's just for me it's a little bit more organised doing it that way. And then in this uh, loop right here. We're going to tie our yarn on and put a shell. So chain three. And then complete the rest of our shell. I'm going to get rid of those ends soon. Right now, I've just come straight up to a corner because I, because we don't work into these corners. So again, uh, don't be don't be worried about this. Uh, it's fine. We're just going to flip straight over into that first available space. So once you once you've got the hang of uh, what we're doing on this round, you know. Uh, you just have to copy it for the other part of the blanket which has this uh, same uh, shape. And then uh, we're nearly done. Nearly, 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 nearly. We've just got the big uh, zigzag edge to contend with now. Which is it's basically the same as uh, doing this part of that. Well, I'll do, I also apologise if you can hear that weather outside. It is bad. I've got... The uh, town where I actually live, I, if I needed to go into town, I can't because the bridge is closed currently because the river's uh, burst its banks. So uh, there's houses right uh, right near the river uh, and they're uh, getting all their sandbags ready and yeah, it's all, uh, all a bit chaotic really. But me, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying put. I absolutely refuse to go out in that. Right, so I'm just going to get there to my other side uh, rather than doing it on camera, and I will see you in a moment. Right, so I'm nearly on my other, other end again. So just a couple more shells to go. I hope you've been enjoying this uh, tutorial so far. I've uh, been enjoying making this one actually. Uh, no word of lie, I started this uh, yesterday. So yeah, it's quite, you know, once you get stuck in, it's quite a fast project. It does work up quite well, uh, quite quickly. Right, so I'm back at my corner. So I've just got this one, uh, one space up here to jump over into. So don't forget, just no chains in between that jump and then a shell in this space. Right, so since we have no more spaces we can move up, this, this, uh, this area now is becoming our leading top edge, as you can see. get everything out of the way. So you can see that this isn't quite level with this. So what we're doing now is we're going to make this level uh, all, all the way across. So to do that, we are going to turn our work. And let's just have a look here. I might, I might just have a bit of a play to see what's going to work best. Yeah, right. So I'll just uh, talk you through what I've just didn't done. What I've just done there. Nice and easy. Chain one, and automatically work into this uh, first uh, space here, just like that. 
because even though this top edge isn't going to be perfect, we are putting a border on, so it will even itself out. Just as long as, you know, roughly spaced out, because this one's in a different direction to this one and this one. So it's very spaced is what we're trying to get um, as close as close to the, uh, as close as uh, we can get them to the actual pattern. Right, so I'm just going to continue till the end of a row. So I won't bore you to death by doing 30 odd uh, shells. So I will see you in a few moments. Right, so I'm just coming up to the end of this uh, row. So I'm just going to do my shell in the space. And now I need to make a little uh, little space. Just want to have a look on the other side, bear with. Yeah, so I am going to do a chain one and then I'm just going to slip stitch uh, into this uh, next shell over here. Yeah, and that's it. Now, for for the last uh, part, just carry on working uh, like we have been doing. Uh, as you can see, now we don't need to do anything up here. We're going to connect onto this uh, area and work backwards and forwards. It should only be... It's just two rows, so as you can see, we've only, we've got two spaces here, and then on the next one, it's one space. So I won't do that on camera, um, just because this uh, tutorial is getting a bit long, and then it's be just a case of sewing up your little gap, like we have been doing throughout throughout this pattern every now and again. So I'm going to cut this tutorial here uh, and call this part one, and um, and then what we'll do is we will. I'll get you started on doing the main jaggy edge and then we will come back and put a really nice uh, really nice border on this uh, uh, lap blanket. So I hope you've been able to follow so far. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask away in the comments down below. Uh, I do normally respond quite quickly to any uh, comments on, this vi on my videos I actually have. So uh, keep stitching and I hope you're managing to get through this okay. So, right, so I will see you back for round two, or for video two. Bye!